I'm Callaway Cass, Senior Design Engineer at VPT. Today we're going to talk about the inhibit function of our converters. I'm going to talk about how to drive the inhibit pin and how to delay the turn on of the device uh, using an external capacitor on the inhibit pin. Some things to remember about the inhibit pin are you need to drive it with an open collector or an open drain driver. You do not want to drive it with an external voltage signal applied to the inhibit pin. So you can even use a comparator that has an open collector output, but you do not want to use any sort of TTL buffer type chip. When you inhibit the device, you need to pull the inhibit pin down below one and a half volts. That is for our standard isolated uh, DC-DC converters. The point of load converters you need to pull the pin down lower. You can refer to the data sheet for the different converters to make sure you pull the inhibit pin down low enough. When designing your circuit to drive the inhibit pin, you may have questions about how much current you need to sink as you pull the inhibit pin down. For our isolated 28 volt input converters, you're typically pulling down 10 kilo ohms from VN to ground. So at 28 volts input, you need to sink about 3 milliamps, going up to about 5 milliamps at 50 volts input. If you have questions in particular about the converter you are using and your circuit, please contact us. So now I'm going to demo the inhibit function and look at the inhibit delay, turn on delay when we release the inhibit pin. For this demo, I'm using a DVTR2805S. It's 28 volt input, 5 volt output, a 30 watt converter. What I have set up under this test fixture here is a simple BJT circuit in an open collector arra arrangement where I have the collector tied to the inhibit pin of the DVTR. And I'm driving that BJT with a 5 volt signal through a resistor to its base. So when I apply 5 volts to the BJT, I'm saturating the collector to emitter, pulling down the inhibit pin, and inhibiting the device. Set up on the bench here, I have a benchtop isolated power supply. I'm using for 28 volts to feed the converter, and it also has a second isolated power supply. I'm using for 5 volts. I'm sending that 5 volts through this switch to drive the BJT circuit so that I can inhibit and release the inhibit function. So now I have the 28 volt supply turned on providing an input voltage to the converter but I also have the 5 volt signal driving my BJT circuit that's pulling down the inhibit pin. When I turn off this 5 volts the BJT will release the inhibit pin and we'll see the V out come up. So in blue is my command signal, 5 volts, uh, which turns, which inhibits the converter. And as I release this 5 volts that's driving the BJT, the BJT is then releasing the inhibit pin. And after some delay, we see V out turn on. The delay for this particular converter at 5 milliseconds per division is about 2 millisecond delay. So after releasing the inhibit pin, 2 millisecond delay and V out begins to rise. Now I have added a 1 microfarad capacitor from the inhibit pin to input common. What this does is slow down the rise of the inhibit pin when your drive circuit releases the inhibit pin and it delays the turn on of the converter. This white reference waveform I have saved was the original turn on. Now as I release the inhibit pin you'll see the delay caused by adding the one microfarad capacitor. So we can see that when the inhibit command is given to release inhibit the V out does not begin to rise now until five milliseconds later. So by adding this one microfarad capacitor, we have delayed the bit start of the turn on from two millisecond delay 
out to a five millisecond delay. Now I have increased this capacitance on the inhibit pin from one microfarad to 10 microfarads. I've saved the previous two waveforms with no capacitance on the inhibit pin and one microfarad capacitance. Now we'll see what happens when I release inhibit with 10 microfarads on the inhibit pin. Now we've delayed the turn on by, all, by about 30 milliseconds from the time that the inhibit pin is released. So today we have talked about the inhibit function in our converters and general concepts about how to drive the inhibit pin. Make sure to use open collector or an open drain type circuit and do not drive it with an external voltage or TTL chip. And we've also shown how you can add a capacitance from the inhibit pin to input common in order to delay the turn on. So if you have multiple converters and you need to delay some outputs from coming up or you need a specific delay for your system, you can adjust that capacitor to get the delay that you need. Thank you for watching. If you have any further questions about implementing your inhibit circuit, please contact us. And be sure to check out more videos available on vptpower.com or on our YouTube channel.